Welcome back to the show. I'm the Beer Adventurer. I'm Becky. And on this episode, old style. Go, Go Cubs. Cubs. We said that because, well, old style is a sponsor of the Cubs, and I'm a huge Cub fan. Huge, huge Cub, Cub fan. fan. Um, here's the thing. If you look on the bottle or the can, it says 1902. Well, I wikipedia it, and actually this beer is actually from 1899, but it had a couple different names before that. And 1902 was when they started calling it old style. Now they did, during Prohibition, sell a near beer that they called new style. And this was made by Heilemann. And I know because I had Wikipedia tell me how to pronounce it. Um, but technically they're owned by Paps now. Now, here's the thing. This beer is super popular in the Midwest. Mm -hmm. okay. Becky's from Iowa, so she remembers it being there. I learned about it because of me being a Cubs fan and seeing it on TV. So it was years before I could ever find it because I grew up in the South and it wasn't as readily available. I did. I grew up in the Midwest. So once I had it, I was like, well, that's good. And I begged a couple liquor stores and stuff around here and one of them carries it and so I buy it. Uh, by the way, this is an amazing shower beer because what did we decide the, uh, the alcohol content was this? 4.64. Yeah. So it's less than 5% alcohol. Um, you know, if you've not had Old Style, you owe it to yourself. Look at that pour. This is the kind of beer, you know, they were drinking in the 50s and stuff. And you know what? It's a European style. And I like it. Pours a great head. It's wonderful right out of the can, which is where I drink it most of the time. I've drank it out of the bottle, drink it out of the can. It doesn't matter. Here's the smell. This smells light and grainy. I was going to say, all I smell is like familiar. Mm hmm. <laughs> it's the, a slightly malty smell, but mm -hmm. it's a little bit sweet. It's seriously smooth. Yeah. Seriously smooth. It's got a decent malt background. There's no discernible hop note, but it's crisp. It ends nice. You just got chill bumps, didn't you? She grew up in the Midwest, so this was the beer that you stole, that they stole one out of the fridge of their granddad's. I, I would say grandmother. Grandma, your, my your grandmother. grandmother. My grandmother kept this around for the aunts and uncles. Oh. Hey, I mean, makes sense. Um, there is a problem with this beer. Besides the fact that in the South it's not as easy to find. Cans aren't big enough? No, this is a pounded beer. Next thing you know, you're seven in. Yeah, I can understand that. Does I buy it by the 12 pack? Well, because that's what they carry for me. Um... I like it. And I mean, literally, I hunted it because I was like, that's a beer I've never had. And they sponsored the Cubs. I want to try it. And then the first Cubs game I ever went to, they had it on draft and it was cheap. And I was like, wow, why is this so fucking delicious and so cheap? And the lady goes, well, they're the sponsor. So, and so we had a couple and then I bought some and brought it back. And then now I've been able to find it here. So. It really works for me. It's a lawnmower beer. It's a friends hanging out beer. Mm -hmm. It works decent with food. It goes phenomenal with pizza. Like, phenomenal with pizza. Like. Refreshing. See, but here's here's the difference. Like, she's from the Midwest, so she was used to it. She'd already had it. And, like, I was like, oh, I really want to get old style. And she was like, wow, it's just old style. And I was like, well. How do you get to have it? Um, but I get it. I guess it's whatever you get used to. Overall, though, I would say it's definitely a drinking beer. Yes. It's not bad to have. Like you can have another one and another one and another one. Um. 
and all beers are personal experience. You know, you had a good time drinking it, you're going to remember it fondly. Mm -hmm. um, and speaking of fondly, are you enjoying this video? You know, give us a subscribe. I do this like three times a week. Sometimes I have different guests in my panel. Uh, if you're enjoying the video, drop a like. Let's talk about Old Style in the comments. Uh, have you had it? Are you looking for it? You know, are you a Cubs fan? What's up? Um, let's get down to the rating system now. Did you dig it? Yes. I do. Well, you have another. Always. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how many would you put in a pick six? All of them. I get them by the 12 pack. Uh, but if you've never had it and you get the ability to grab one in a pick six. Grab it. Go ahead and do it. I mean, even if you're just checking into it on untapped. Yeah. Uh, if you're doing untap, hit me up, Bear Adventure. Drop a comment telling me you found me from my videos. That'd be awesome if you did. Um, so on a scale of one to ten, one to ten cans. Ten? No. Oh, I thought you were asking how many I drank. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> my bad. My bad. Um, I mean, it's it's just an average beer, but for me. There is childhood in this glass. So on that, it does raise it. But if we're going just on like beer level, no, it's like it's a what seven. is yours. Yeah. It's like a seven. But like for me, it's like an eight. Okay. Just well, because see, like that's it's, it. That's... It's, 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 this is my childhood. I can remember going to grandma's house on Christmas and everybody having one. Like all the adults having okay, one. Okay, because the seekability factor for me is what helped it. You know, uh, is it an amazing like intricate special limited edition beer no is it a beer i enjoy drinking yes and can afford yes. no matter what my budget is mm -hmm. yes do i want to have another yes will i have another yes do i have fond memories of and looking for this beer yes um all those things together take an average well above av slightly above average beer and bring it into just so much fun and so much memories and everything that it brings this beer up to an eight for me. I mean, if I had to judge it based purely on its taste, it's it's in a high six, maybe a seven, but the connection that I have with this beer, it makes it an eight. That's what beer does for people. So, to your next beer adventure. Go Cubs. Go Cubs. Mm -hmm.